Stafford speaking on behalf of the Temperate Deciduous Forest, and these are the organisms we want to modify. The eastern hognose snake is in danger of extinction. It is not venomous and specializes in eating frogs and toads. The snake will be genetically modified to be venomous to make it a better contributor to the ecosystem. Snakes are very important to the forest because they serve as a natural pest control that can eliminate the overpopulation of small and unnecessary organisms. The population of prey and primary consumers will not decrease and in no way will the populations be endangered. There will be less competition for food and shelter amongst the smaller organisms as well. This will benefit the biome because it will regulate the population and prevent the biome from getting overcrowded. One disadvantage to the trait is if the snake becomes venomous, it might be able to eliminate too much prey and reduce biodiversity in the biome. But this problem fixes itself because snakes also eat other snakes even, if, even though they are of the same species. When snakes eat other snakes, they can re regulate the population amongst their own species and therefore allow more prey to reproduce. The organism I want to modify is the Lomatium cocci because it has been dying from the lack of water and also the surplus of water. The organism is now considered endangered, so modifying it to live longer is necessary. Adding a trait that allows the Lomatium cocci to survive in the absence or overpresence of water would be beneficial to the biome because then biodiversity will be sustained. The new trait affects the biome's ecosystem because it will sustain the food chain, so the animal that eats Lomatium cocci will survive longer too. The trait has no immediate negative effects on other organisms because the plant is not a predator to any organisms, so they will not be harmed. Allowing the Lomatium cocci to live longer will provide more energy for other organisms, so it is only helpful. The only possible disadvantage is if the plant becomes overpopulated, but that will only provide more energy for other animals, so it is in fact an advantage. If the red squirrel changes their color to gray, there will be fewer hunters trespassing and disturbing natural wildlife, and in general, there will be a decline in hunting other animals. The change in color for squirrels mean that they will be able to blend in with their natural surroundings instead of sticking out and being subject to prey. If red squirrels change their color of fur, they will be able to mate with the gray squirrel, which already exists. They would be able to crossbreed now that they have the same skin tone with one unified colored gray population of squirrels. There will be more food for bears, raccoons, and other primary consumers in the temperate deciduous forest. For animals that eat red squirrels, it will be harder for them to be caught because they will be able to blend in with their environment. Similar to iguanas can change color. Gray is a color that's easier to blend with the environment. A disadvantage for the new trait would be that there would be less food for other squirrels now that there are more gray squirrels that can survive without uh, losing its population. It's possible that there could be fewer acorns for squirrels and other animals and possibly more competition for food. I decided to alter the blackberry bush and add cactus genes in order to retain water better and to withstand harsher environments. So this uh, trait is beneficial because it adds a new gene that will be, make the blackberry bush be able to withstand heat and droughts, which are very important because if there is a drought, many of the animals will die out. Um, this new trait will affect the bio's ecosystem because instead of all the animals dying out, it would decrease the amount of animals that died because of a food source. Um, and one disadvantage of this trait is it added uh, thorns, but this could also be considered an advantage because the animals smart enough to get the berries uh, will survive, and usually you want smarter animals in an ecosystem. The new trait is larger milk sap mushrooms. These mushrooms are already edible, so if their size was enlarged, there would be more food for the animals. This would mean there would be more nutrients and energy in the biome. Almost all of the animals in the biome would be able to eat it. It would also be very rare to run out of food. It makes all animals have a common food source. All animals would be able to have something to eat. The enlarged mushrooms would make the biome have more 
for the animals to eat. There would also be less fighting over food between different animals and organisms. It will affect every organism in a positive way. It would provide more food for almost every organism in the biome because there would be a greater amount of the edible milk sap mushrooms. A disadvantage of this trait is that the milk sap mushroom's size enlargement might take up too much space. This is not a major problem because the animals will still have a good amount of space and the mushroom will be eaten anyways.